Historic choice, Governor Gavin Newsom appoints California Secretary of State Alex Padilla to fill Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's Senate seat. Now, Padilla becomes the first Latino senator in the state's history. NBC 4's Conan Nolan joins us live from the newsroom with a reaction to this pick. Conan. That's right, historic and quite remarkable considering the California Constitution in 1850 was written in two languages, English and Spanish. Alex Padilla now headed to the United States Senate in an announcement that was as emotional as it was historic. The offer came in a Zoom call, historic and emotional, for the Bacoima born son of immigrant parents from Mexico. Can you imagine uh, what the mom would be thinking now as I ask you if you want to be the next U.S. Senator of the United States, the great state of California? You serious? This is the official, this is the ass, brother. I'm honored, man. And I'm humbled because of them. I can't tell you how many pancakes my dad flipped or eggs he scrambled mm -hmm. trying to provide for us or in the many, many years of my mom cleaning houses, doing the same thing. You gotta say yes though, man. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It was not a surprise. California Secretary of State Alex Padilla, as the youngest president ever of the L.A. City Council, decades ago had bonded with another young city official, Gavin Newsom, then a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. So when Kamala Harris became the next vice president, it was Padilla who was expected to get the nod as the first Latino ever to serve as a U.S. senator from the state of California. Reaction today from State Attorney General Javier Becerra. And I think he's going to do his utmost to serve the people of California well. And again, I congratulate him heartily. What a what a way to get Christmas going, huh? It's a nice Christmas gift. Friend, Congressman Tony Cardenas. We haven't had a Southern California um, senator for quite some time, for decades now. So that's a nice plus. And then the fact that he is a, a bilingual uh, person of color and somebody who has two decades of elected experience. I just want to say thank you and please note I will... Uh, make you proud and make uh, California proud by uh, getting it done uh, in the U.S. Senate. Anyway. There are plenty of people who were disappointed, though. Congresswoman Karen Bass of Southern California was considered to be one of those who might get the nod. However, she has a leadership role in the U.S. House of Representatives. Some have called her a next possible speaker. She sent out a tweet congratulating Alex Padilla, saying she looks forward to working with him in Congress for years. In the meantime, the Secretary of State's job is now open, and Gavin Newsom just a little while ago announced that he will nominate Assemblymember Dr. Shirley Weber of San Diego to replace that. She's African-American female, member of the California legislature, who's been prom uh, promoting uh, criminal justice reform throughout the legislature, in fact, authoring a bill that upped the standard for the use of deadly force by police. She is, again, the nominee to replace Alex Padilla as California's Secretary of State. I'm Conan Nolan, NBC4 News.